Hi, this is Teacher Nicole at Literacy Pittsburgh. How are you today? I'm good. This is a video for Citizenship Civics 2008 test. The 2008 Civics test has 100 questions. Today we will look at some of the questions from the 2008 Civics test about government. Government basics. So we will talk about the Constitution, the powers of government, state government, and federal government in this video. Okay, the Constitution. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. What does the Constitution do? Sets up the government. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. Okay, let's take a look. The Constitution is the supreme law of the the land. Okay. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. Supreme means highest. It is the highest law of the land. The United States is the land. So the Constitution is the highest law in the United States. We the people. The first three words, we the people. The first three words of the Constitution are, we the people. We the people can vote. We the people can choose the president. We can choose our senators and our representatives. We the people have freedom of speech. We the people have freedom of assembly. We have freedom to petition. We can ask our government to make changes. So this is the idea of self-government. So the question the idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. The Constitution sets up the government. What does the Constitution do? Sets up the government. Sets up means organizes. The Constitution sets up three branches. Okay. We have three branches of government. Why? Because the Constitution sets up three branches. And the Constitution is the supreme law. So let's talk about the three branches of government. We have the legislative branch, which is also called Congress, the executive branch, or the president, and the judicial branch, or the courts. There are three branches of government. Congress, the President, the Courts, or the Supreme Court. Name one branch or part of government. Congress. There are many correct answers. You can say Congress, Legislative Branch, the President, Executive Branch, the Court, 
the judicial branch. Which answer is easy for you? For many people, Congress is easy. Okay, so name one branch or part of government. Congress. Each branch of the government has some powers. Okay, so why? Because the Constitution sets up the government. The Constitution says legislative branch has some powers, executive branch has some powers, judicial branch has some powers. Only some though. No branch has all power. Each branch has some power. For example, Congress makes laws. Who makes federal laws? Congress. Okay. Only Congress has power to make laws. The president, he cannot make a law. The courts, the courts cannot make a law. Only Congress can make or write a law. So Congress makes laws. The president signs bills. Okay. Signs. The president has power to sign bills. Congress cannot sign bills. The Supreme Court cannot sign bills. Only the President signs bills. And the Supreme Court explains laws. Okay. The Supreme Court explains laws. Supreme Court is also judicial branch. What does the judicial branch do? Explains laws. The president cannot explain laws. Congress cannot explain laws. Only the Supreme Court explains laws. So no branch can control everything. No branch has all power. The legislative branch makes laws. The executive branch has the president. The president signs bills. And the judicial branch explains laws. Why? Because Congress sets up the government with separation of powers. Separation of powers. Some powers are legislative branch. Some powers, executive branch. Some powers, judicial branch. Separation of powers. Congress makes laws. The president signs bills. The Supreme Court explains laws. Why? Because separation of powers. Okay, so listen to the question. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Separation of powers. Okay, let's talk about federal government. Federal government is in Washington, D.C. Federal government is Congress, the President, and the Supreme Court. Federal government is the government of the whole country. All the states have federal government. Federal government has power to print money. Okay. 
Why? Because the Constitution gave some power to federal government. The Constitution says federal government can print money. Okay? So listen to the question. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? Print money. Okay. Talking about money, the economic system in the United States is a market economy. Buying and selling marketplace. So the economic system in the United States is a market economy. What is the economic system in the United States? Market economy. On the next slide, we're going to talk about Pennsylvania. My students, we live in Pennsylvania. If you're watching this video and you're in a different state, there will be different answers for your state. If you have a question about your state, you can write a comment and I can help you find the answer. Okay. We live in Pennsylvania. Harrisburg is the capital of Pennsylvania. Okay, so for this question, what is the capital of your state? Harrisburg. Okay. If you live in Pennsylvania, your answer is Harrisburg. If you live in a different state, I can help you find the capital of your state. Or you can look on a map. Usually, on a map, if you see in this picture, the capital has a star. So there's a star and it says Harrisburg. Other cities have a circle, but the capital city has a star. So what is the capital of your state? Harrisburg is the capital of Pennsylvania. State government is in Harrisburg or state government is in the capital of your state. So the Constitution gives powers for federal government. Federal government is in Washington, D.C. And every state has state government. For Pennsylvania, state government is in Harrisburg. But every state has state government. State government has power to give driver's licenses. Okay, so if you live in Pennsylvania, you have a Pennsylvania driver's license. If you live in California, you have a California driver's license. If you live in Florida, you have a Florida driver's license. Every state has different government and state government can give driver's licenses. So listen to the question. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? Give driver's licenses. And every state has a governor. The governor is the leader of their state. 50 states, 50 governors. Okay, so on the civics test, they will ask what is, sorry, not what, 
who is the governor of your state? Okay. If you live in Pennsylvania, Tom Wolf is the governor of Pennsylvania. Who is the governor of your state? Tom Wolf. If you're watching from a different state and you say, I don't know who is my governor, you can write a comment. I will help you find your governor. Okay, so let's practice the questions again. In this video, we're looking at questions 1, 2, 3, 11, 12, 13, 14, 41, 42, and 43. Okay. Before we practice questions, under the video there's a link for Quizlet. On Quizlet you can practice the questions from this video and you can practice the reading test and the writing test sentences. Are you ready? Okay, let's practice the questions. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. What does the Constitution do? Sets up the government. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Separation of powers. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? Print money. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? Give a driver's license. Who is the governor of your state now? Tom Wolf is the governor of Pennsylvania. What is the capital of your state? Harrisburg is the capital of Pennsylvania. What is the economic system in the United States? market economy. Okay, now let's practice writing. When you take your writing test, the officer will say a sentence. You will write what you hear. If you didn't hear or you're not sure, you can ask, please repeat that. Please say that again and the officer will say the sentence again. Okay. And if you are watching this video and you are my student, you can take a picture of your sentences and you can send them to me.
Congress meets in Washington, D.C. Congress meets in Washington, D.C. Congress, C-O-N-G-R-E-S-S, -S, Congress, meets, M-E-E-T-S, meets, in, I-N, in, Washington, W-A-S-H, I N G T O N Washington DC Congress meets in Washington DC Washington DC is the capital Washington, D.C. is the capital. Washington W A S H I N G T O N Washington D C is I S is the T H E the capital C A P I T A L Capital Washington DC is the capital The president lives in the White House The president lives in the White House. The president lives in the White House. The T H E the President P R E S I D E N T President Lives L I V E S Lives In I N In The T H E the white W H I T E white house H O U S E house the president lives in the white house The United States has 50 states. The United States has 50 states.
The United States has 50 states. The T H E the United U N I T E D United States S T A T E S States has H A S has fifty five zero fifty states S T A T E S states the United States has fifty states. Alaska is the largest state. Alaska is the largest state. Alaska is the largest state. Alaska. A L A S K A. Alaska. Is. I S is. The. T H E the. Largest. L A R. G E S T largest state S T A T E state Alaska is the largest state Now let's practice reading When you take your reading test the officer will show you a question. You will say the question out loud. You do not need to answer the question, only say the words of the question correctly. Let's practice. Where does Congress meet? Where does Congress meet? You try. Good. Where does Congress meet? What is the capital of the United States? What is the capital of the United States? Now you read. Good. What is the capital of the United States? Who lives in the White House? Who lives in the White House? You read. Good. Who lives in the White House? How many states are in the United States? How many states are in the United States? Now you try.
Good. How many states are in the United States? What is the largest state? What is the largest state? Now you read. Good. What is the largest state? Okay, thank you for watching this video. Under the video, there is a link for Quizlet. If you have questions about your state, you want to know who is my governor, or what is the capital of my state, you can write a comment. Okay, thanks again for watching and have a great day.